Queenstown is my hometown. My mum raised six kids by herself. Dad left. I don't think even if that was the situation, I still would have been a little bit of trouble. He was very active, outspoken, mischievous, but he wasn't bad. I can't remember him being particularly successful in any of his subjects, but in his character, he showed great promise for entrepreneurship, really. So I've watched his creativity and his progress with enormous pride. I've always been a musician. Uh, I picked up the guitar when I was 12 and I was writing stories in song and eventually I became a full-time musician. So I just started to write kids' music for fun. I enjoyed it. I was having lots of fun with the kids with that immediate feedback, whether it's good or bad. And people keep saying to me, you know, you should do more of that stuff. So I did. I ended up writing The Wonky Donkey and then we turned it into a book. It just went crazy. He's a lanky, honky, donkey, winky, wonky, donkey. <laughs> Janice, the Scottish granny. That viral video has been seen over 200 million times. It was really good to meet her in person. I got down on my knees because I was just so happy to, to meet her in the flesh and say thank you. And I wanted to say thank you properly because she has literally changed my life financially launched it overseas proper. When you're selling hundreds of thousands of copies, it really makes an impact. I don't have to go on tour for five or six months to afford to live here. Because I've got more time, I'm able to maybe focus a little bit more on some community things. I've always been aware, I just never had the time. Luckily, with what's happened, I'm able to probably see a little bit more. People tend to come here for a couple of reasons, and some of them are the right reasons, but some of them are just to make money. If they can find a way to squeeze an extra dollar out of this place, they will. When you've got companies that are making, say, $110 million a year, and if they could just throw their waste in the water, or they can subverse this thing or subverse that thing, then they're gonna make $115 million. They don't really care what impact that has on our community. Or, or our natural environment. And it's those types of people that I wrote about in that song. We just can't keep growing. I think it's the same thing with the, with the airport. I, Happy to have aviation, I, I'm a pilot myself, but if it gets to a point where you've just got plane after plane after plane and people can't really enjoy the place, you're gonna kill the goose that lays the golden egg. Do we need more people coming to this town? Probably not, in my opinion. But sometimes it takes crisis for people to go, oh, hang on, we should change this. I get it that some people aren't sort of, they don't see what's, what's going on. I am optimistic. I think if people have the time to investigate, they will see that they can change things easily if they all get together. That would be fantastic, I think. <laughs>